Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. So in today's video, we're taking a look at our five best-selling dive knives. So of course, knives are a little awkward to talk about in today's world. Uh, I'm just gonna take this opportunity to also say that we are adding new regulations to our dive knives, just so they don't get into the wrong hands. But it is an essential tool for us scuba divers. And uh, as you'll see, most of these aren't really, they're not that dangerous. They are a utility tool for getting us out of an entanglement. So let's take a closer look look at five of our best-selling dive knives. Coming in in fifth place is the Aqualung Small Squeeze Knife. So this is quite understandably right up at the top of our list at the moment because it's simple design, but it's a very clever design. Uh, so the sheath itself is very neat and tidy. You can fit it to either leg straps or onto a two inch webbing strap. Uh, you can also attach it onto some knife grommets so it can be a BCD knife as well. The main benefit of the Squeeze series is that this section means that you have a good grip of the dive knife to actually release it but then when you actually look at the knife itself it's very very blunt so it is a tool for actually using while scuba diving and nothing else really you have a serrated blade so you can cut through thicker lines and ropes you have a small straight section if you really need it you have a cutting hook as well so that's useful for fishing lines and uh, just everything about it is very simple it's very strong uh, and it's well put together in at number four, we have the Maniago TS1 line cutter knife. So this is basically a large Z knife. Um, as you can see, it comes in a sort of fabric sheath. Uh, you've got a few mounting options on the back. Uh, and then the line cutter itself is basically a Z knife, so a cutting hook, but with a handle as well. So it's a bit more practical um, if you're cutting through lots of stuff. Sometimes the smaller ones get a little bit fiddly, especially if you're wearing thick gloves. So with this, you get a big old chunky handle and a, a big sort of cutting hook. You do also have access to that serrated edge as well. So if you do need to use it as a conventional knife, uh, it does work in that way, but you're less likely to sort of cut yourself or your own gear. Um, and it's relatively inexpensive as well. Rolling in at number three, we have the Maniago Shark Knife. Uh, now, I know exactly why this is high up on our list, and that's because it is a cheap knife. So most knives I describe as inexpensive. This one is cheap. Um, the, uh, the build quality is quite average, but the main reason why it's so popular is because it is that cheap. It's a very simple dive knife. Uh, you've got stainless steel with a plastic handle. Uh, it's a decent size, but you do have that sort of serrated cutting edge, so it is a practical dive knife. Um, just sort of take care with the stainless steel uh, because that will rust quite quick, uh, quickly compared to some other higher grade steels. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for something cheap and cheerful, then we've got the Maniago Shark. Up in second place, we have the Easy Cut Trilobite. So again, another line cutter. This is really the way that the entire industry is going. A uh, more practical cutting device. Uh, so very compact, as you can see, really, really small. Uh, comes in two different variations. The harness one is the most popular, so it just sits on a two inch webbing strap. And then to deploy it, bit of Velcro, and there it is. So it's a line cutter. You can use the handle uh, as a bit of a handle. And um, despite it looking really really sort of, uh, sort of compact in there. You can cut some quite thick lines with this thing. And because they're razor blades on the inside, it's very, very quick to cut through even thicker lines. Uh, so you can replace the blades as well. So that's always handy. Um, if these do end up rusting, you can pull it apart and uh, replace them. It comes in a whole bunch of different colors and you can mount them pretty much anywhere you want. And of course, in at number one, we have the Acrolong Squeeze Lock Knife. So this is a kind of slimmer version of the small squeeze, and um, but uses the exact same design. So we have a, uh, a sort of a sheath that you can mount in very different ways, whether it's on a BCD, on a strap, wherever you want it to. And then we have that squeeze lock mechanism, so you can pinch that, so you're definitely sure that you have a decent grip. And then you have a very sort of simple cutting edge. This is the tan tip but they do have a uh, sort of different blunt tip options this is the titanium version there's also a stainless steel but as far as cutting edges we have a simple straight cutting edge you have a serrated on the other side and a line cutting hook so this is really all you need for a scuba dive if you need to cut through some fishing line uh, or some netting or something to get yourself free this really is all you need 
So all of these are available on our website, simplyscuba.com. But of course, let us know your favorite down in the comments below and what dive knife you use and why. Uh, a lot of divers tend to have sort of one or two at least, so they have a redundant backup. And uh, have you ever had to use your dive knife in the water? Let us tell your story below. Thank you for watching and of course, safe diving. So there were five of our best-selling dive computers, but of course, let us know what your favorite dive computer was, and of course, what dive computer you use and why down in the comments below. Of course, thank you for watching. Don't forget to do all of that social media stuff, clicking the like button, the share, all the bells and icons and all those bits and bobs. Just remember, we also have our Teespring account if you're looking